The most powerful voice in NBA analysis is that of the NBA legends. These legends have the influence to shape the global perception of a player. So, let's find out what they had to say about superstar Luka Doncic. Let's begin with the GOAT of 90s basketball, the man who built a global empire and who wore number 23, Hall of Famer Michael Jordan. This is what he had to say about Luka Doncic. A phenomenal player and at such a young age, he's demonstrating the skills it takes many guys years to develop. It will be incredible to watch him continue to advance in the league. Clearly, there's recognition of Luka's brilliance, but Jordan, being on brand, would not go into further lengths to describe Luka's talent as to preserve his own legacy. But one man who doesn't mind dishing out the praise is the logo of the NBA, Mr. Jerry West. When asked to describe Doncic, he had this to say. Look at Dallas. One player has transformed them into a playoff team. He'll be the best player Dallas has ever had. I have a great respect for Nowitzki, but Dirk is not Luka. Everyone wishes they had a 20-year-old who plays like him, and he hasn't even scratched the surface. It's fun to watch genius. He was then asked what he meant by calling Luka a genius. I've been around a long time, and I've seen a lot of special players. How many superstars are there in the league at any given time? Maybe five or six? There's a difference between all-stars and superstars. A superstar is different, and that's what he is. Such high praise and respect shown by Jerry West as he clearly believes that the Slovenian ranks as one of the greats. Another individual who's highly opinionated and doesn't mince words is Charles Barkley. When asked for his thoughts on Doncic in 2019, this is what the legendary player had to say. Let me tell you something, that boy Doncic, he's the real deal. As we used to say in my day, that's a bad white boy. I mean, he's not there yet, but we're getting really close to little black kids in the hood wearing his jersey. Real close. It used to be Larry Bird, Steve Nash, Dirk Nowitzki, Ginobili, that was it. Doncic, if he keeps playing like this, we're going to see his number in the hood. But for most people, the fondness for Luka was not always the case, especially prior to the draft. Barkley was one of the loudest to voice his doubts. I don't trust foreign competition. I don't have anything against foreign players. I just don't know what kind of a competition it is. They're like, at 18 years old, he was the MVP. Well, that tells me he was playing against weak competition. Nobody at 18 should be dominating grown men. I don't care how bad the grown men are. You go back and look at the NBA. I've been in the NBA for over 30 years. There's one 18-year-old that you can go back and say, oh, he's the real deal. That's LeBron James. People forget. As great as Kobe was, he struggled for the first few years. Kevin Garnett, struggle in his first few years. They keep telling me Doncic won MVP at 18. He shouldn't be dominating grown men at 18. For this kid to be dominating, I wouldn't take him with the number one or two pick in the NBA draft. Spotting talent isn't everyone's expertise, even if you're a legendary player. But on the other hand, a legendary championship winning coach such as Greg Popovich might offer a slightly more measured analysis of Luka. A quintessential basketball player, he has an intrinsic feel for the game, but he was built for the game. Also, he probably would be a great handball player, but at that size, to have that passing ability, that vision on the court, the confidence he plays with, he shoots the ball well, he competes, he just loves the game of basketball. His skills are top notch, so he's just a joy to watch. Greg Popovich is an authentic and true coach who doesn't dish out compliments unless he means it. He even took the time to draw up a player comparison regarding Doncic. I hate to say this, he's not Magic Johnson, but it's Magic Johnson-like in the sense that he sees the floor in the same way. He's got a real intuitive sense, and you can't teach that. He's just got it, and he's great at it. I'm not trying to put Magic Johnson pressure on him, he's not ready for that yet, but he's doing a hell of a job. Clearly the respect is there and has nothing but admiration for the Slovenian player. But what did Magic Johnson himself have to say about the Rising Stars game? Luka Doncic's game-winning three-pointer against the Celtics in the 2020-21 season further proves why he's a once-in-a-lifetime player and MVP candidate. It's clear that Magic loves Luka and wishes he could be a Laker someday and join Anthony Davis to form an unstoppable duo. Another NBA legend was asked about Luka Doncic in the form of one of the best three-point shooters to ever grace the NBA hardwood, Reggie Miller. When asked about Luka's comparison to Larry Bird, Miller had this to say. Larry Bird was a straight assassin scorer. He would put 35 on you in a half. He had that killer instinct. Luka has that killer instinct offensively and can pass you the basketball. Luka tries to embarrass you. I think, so in terms of who's closer to Larry Bird in my opinion, it would be Luka Doncic. When Miller was asked where Luka does rank amongst the greats, he said, I'm not surprised. He's into that elite conversation and, probably in a lot of circles, the best point guard in the game at age 20. Speaking of great point guards, NBA legend Steve Nash had this to say about Luka's game. 
I think he's maybe the best 20-year-old the NBA has ever seen. The game's a little different than when LeBron James came in the league. The numbers are a little inflated because of the pace and hand check, but still, I think LeBron was so gifted. But I don't think he was as polished as Luka at 20. Now, Luka's never going to be the athlete LeBron is, but he's a great athlete. He's an underrated athlete. He's going to be a Hall of Fame player if he stays healthy. When Nash was asked if Luka could be better than Dirk, this is what he responded. It's possible for sure, especially when you look at Dirk at 20. Dirk was amazing at 20, but compared to Luka? Because physically he was catching up. Luka's already there physically. Dirk was a rare thing then. Now it's normal for a guy to come from Europe and be good right away, but Luka's not normal in any way. He has a chance to be better than Dirk, and Dirk's one of the best players we ever had. That says how incredible of a player and talent Luka is. Another NBA analyst who was a former Celtics great, Paul Pierce, shared his thoughts on Doncic. Probably the most skilled player in the NBA. Me and him have a lot in common. No, seriously though. He looks slow, lethargic, but he always gets there to the right spot. He's a better passer, but as far as scoring ability, me and him have a lot in common. I expect special things from him. You talk about a kid who made one of the biggest leaps in recent memory from a Rookie of the Year to an MVP caliber player. He's special and has all the talent. Despite throwing the claim that Pierce believes that there are a lot of similarities between him and Doncic, the respect and admiration for his game is evident. A similar respect was also delivered by the Celtics' former coach in the form of Doc Rivers, who said this about Doncic's game. Doncic has the ability to score, he gets to the paint, he's strong, and he's an elite passer. So there's no great offense that doesn't start with a great player, and he's a great player. When asked about comparing Luka to other players, Rivers said, Luka to me is a little bit of both Larry Bird and Jason Kidd. He has the passing of Jason Kidd, but he also has the scoring ability of Larry Bird, and that's what makes him such a difficult cover. I have crazy respect for Doncic as a player. He's a terrific player. I love his toughness, he plays with a great joy. It's funny, you forget that he's still young. I heard someone say that yesterday and I thought, wait a minute, feels like he's been around for a long time already. Which means that this is truly a sign of Luka's greatness. Another legendary player turned coach in the shape of Steve Kerr did not hold back on praising Luka Doncic's abilities. He said, He's got this James Harden skill set with crossovers and stepbacks. He's a brilliant player and so young. And he's going to be one of the cornerstones of the league for a long time. He's a combination of a lot. James Harden in some ways. Obviously the Larry Bird comparison. He has great vision, LeBronish. There's a lot of people in him. But I think when he retires, people are going to say he was Luka. Steve Kerr also had room to praise Luka's in-game mental toughness. For him to be poised and have the confidence and the cockiness, kind of like a little swagger that he has at this young age in his career is very, very rare. You know, he's got this incredible knack for seeing the floor and being a step ahead. He reminds me a little of Larry Bird in that regard. He's kind of one step ahead in the chess match. It's clear that after a period of uncertainty before he ever even laced up his Air Jordans on an NBA court, Luka Doncic is regarded by NBA legends as a rare and gifted basketball player that's growing in confidence and in his ability. There's no telling what the future holds, but you wouldn't want to bet against Luka Doncic becoming an NBA legend.